Smart Cardiac Risk was one of the first applications that the Smart team built at Boston Children's Hospital. And we built it to underscore an important point about substitutable medical applications. That being the principle that folks who have a better idea of how to make sense of the data inside of a medical record uh, should have the freedom and flexibility to implement that idea as an application that can run inside of the clinical record system. So we took our inspiration and our design from an article that was published in Wired magazine that was imagining better ways to represent clinical data. And they invited teams of information visualization designers to improve upon some of the traditional information display systems. So for example, uh, one of the areas that they highlighted was the following lab report, uh, which reports on the result of a C-reactive protein blood test. Uh, they invited the information is beautiful uh, visualization design team, Dave McCandless and Stephanie Posovac, to look for a better way uh, to represent these kinds of data. And the design that Dave McCandless and Stephanie Posovec put together looks like this. They incorporated a set of lab results, not just C-reactive protein, but total cholesterol, LDLs, and HDLs as well. And they mixed those data up with patient demographics, uh, smoking status, family history of heart disease. And they use all of that information to calculate a Reynolds risk score, which is a 10-year risk that a patient is going to have a heart attack or a stroke. So this design was published and it was made available under a Creative Commons license. And the Smart Platforms team took this as the inspiration and the design for our Cardiac Risk app. So switching gears here from an image that was published in Wired Magazine to an application that can run inside of an EHR, in about one week of developer time, the Smart Platforms team put together this embodiment of the design that was published in Wired. And you can see this is almost a pixel for pixel reproduction of the design, including this C-reactive protein, uh, total cholesterol, LDLs, and HDLs. And at the bottom of the screen, a calculated risk, a Reynolds risk score of a 10-year risk of heart attack or stroke. But all these data are populated live and dynamically when this app loads inside the clinical record. So each of these HDL, LDL, cholesterol, CRP values, and the patient demographics are loaded from the EHR, as well as a most recent systolic blood pressure, and they're used to dynamically calculate the risk score. And this is an app that can run in the context of a clinical record uh, to help a clinician make a decision, but also can be used as the centerpiece of a conversation. Uh, so a clinician and a patient might look at this application together. Uh, which brings me to one more important feature of the application that we built in, which is the ability to run some very simple simulations. So for example, if we were having a conversation about how uh, quitting smoking and getting your blood pressure under control might help to improve your risk. I might start by saying, right now, you've got a 60% chance of having a heart attack or a stroke in the next 10 years. Uh, but if you quit smoking, uh, and if you get your blood pressure even modestly into the pre-hypertensive range, you can cut your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke down uh, from 60% to 30%. So you can cut your risk in half. And that's just a really quick example of how this kind of tool can provide uh, some dynamic simulation that provides insight at the point of care. Everything that we've built in this app is open source. It's available at smarthealthit.org, and you can check it out for yourself.